Greetings and welcome to day 34 of our 40 days of prayer. Today, I would like for us to share from the book of Mark, Mark chapter 6, Mark uh, 6 and verse 30. Let's read from verse 30, which says, The apostles gathered around Jesus and reported to him all they had done and taught. Then, because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. Um, the concept of rest is one that, um, particularly because of the world that we live in, the fast-paced um, society that we find ourselves in, it's like everything is, is required urgently, it's important, it is necessary as soon as possible. We are bombarded by uh, the fastness of, of the society that we live in, the fastness um, of the world that we live in. Everything that is, it would seem that everything that is um, in our in our lives nowadays has to be done immediately, quickly, uh, with urgency. There's hardly ever the concept of rest. And if we are being honest with ourselves, particularly because we are Adventists, um, oftentimes even Sabbath is not a day of rest. It is a day when we have packed um we, we have packed the day with so many programs and so many events and so many things that by the end of the Sabbath day, um, rarely do we find that we have actually rested. And, and yes, it is great to work for the Lord. Yes, it's great to do good things. And I believe that that is precisely why this particular story is in the Bible to tell us that even when we are doing great things, even when we are doing God things, that rest must always be a part of our lives, that rest is an important uh, part of our lives. The Lord said, the Bible says that when the apostles had gathered around and because there were so many people coming and going, they hardly even had time to eat, that Jesus looked at them and said, you know what? Uh, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. They they were so busy, they did not even have time to tend to themselves. They, they were so busy that they did not even have time to, to do the most basic thing, which is to eat. And in that moment, Jesus recognized, instead of Jesus bombarding his disciples with even more stuff to, eat, to do, even more stuff to accomplish, and even more stuff uh, that they needed to, to, uh, to do for the kingdom, instead of bombarding them with another list of to-dos, Jesus recognizes their, their vulnerability in that time and says, come with me and, and rest. You see, one of the things that we have to understand, especially particular, especially when it comes to the concept of rest, is that it was such an important aspect. It was such an important um, point that at the very beginning, even even before uh, the fall of man, even before sin came into this world, at the very beginning, God understood how important it was for humanity to rest. And because humanity required this very important concept, God in his divinity had to demonstrate it to us by resting on the Sabbath day, by resting on the seventh day. He understood that if he did not demonstrate it to us, if he did not, um, you know, um, help model it for us, then we would be totally lost. How many times have we heard of people who have literally worked themselves to death? People who have, um, even for ourselves, who have experienced burnout, not necessarily because we were doing the wrong things or bad things, but you know, even while we are doing good things, we can experience burnout. We can experience exhaustion. We can, we need rest. 
And the rest is not just for our bodies, but it, the rest is also for our spiritual, uh, you know, being, our spiritual, the spiritual component within ourselves. That it is in our rest that we can um, understand or, or appreciate exactly how much God has done for us. It is in our rest, our state of stopping, of, you know, coming back to, to center, coming back to what is important, coming back to the acknowledgement that Jesus is indeed the center of my life, that God uh, uh, takes precedence over everything, that it is in the, those moments when we stop and rest, that now perspective comes. How many times have you uh, had an issue, uh, you know, ringing in your mind over and over again, and it does not seem like there's any solution, and you slept on it? And in the morning, it's like clarity just descends upon you, and you can see the issue, and you can solve it, and the solution was actually very simple uh, oftentimes because you just needed to rest. My sisters and my brothers, particularly my sisters, it is important that we rest. It is important that we take time to stop the world around us and just rest. My brothers... Yes, there are so many things that you need to do and accomplish. Um, so many milestones, so many goals that we have all placed ahead of us. But rest is important. If we do not rest, we are not at our best. And if we are not at our, uh, and if we are not at our best, then we cannot help the rest the rest of the people who are counting on us. Counting on us to be at our best. So, as Jesus said, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. Won't you experience the rest that Christ has for us today by just taking a moment? Even now, wherever you are listening from, just take a moment, a few seconds, 30 seconds, you can set your timer and just rest. Rest your mind, rest your mind, rest your heart and just think of God and all that he has done for you. Even in that moment, wherever you are, whatever your circumstances are, ask the Lord to give you rest. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for the beauty of your rest. Thank you for reminding us that we do indeed need to rest. And we ask in this moment that you would help us. We ask in this moment that you would, um, you know, just be with us and give us the moments where we can rest, remind us to rest, O oh Lord. Because when we are by ourselves, we do not think about these things. We would run ourselves to the ground if you did not intervene. So, Lord, help us, protect us from ourselves. Remind us that you are still God and that you will take charge even when we take time to rest. So, Lord, we ask that you would grant us discernment, that we may be able to distinguish between moments where we need to keep going and moments where we just need to stop and take a break. Father, I pray for each and every person that is listening to this. I pray that even as they have taken time to stop and listen to your word, that you would give them the rest that they need, the physical rest, the mental rest, the emotional rest, the spiritual rest. May we experience what it means to be at rest with you. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen and amen.